Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls of all ages and races and tastes and flavors. <laughs> no, but seriously. So um, today I'm going to be talking about Open G. I know it seems like it's taken forever, but trust me, there's been so many transitions and stuff like that going on, transitions and transactions. Um, I just been thrown off a little bit, but I want you people to know that I haven't forgot about you guys, and I'm here today with the Open G lesson. Yes, indeed. <laughs> So first we're gonna tune the guitar, this thing, to open G. So it goes as follows, starting with your heaviest string on the bottom. I know it sounds crazy, but when I first started playing, I thought this was the top two, but it's actually like the bottom. Does it call it the bottom E string? I guess. Either or, I guess, as long as you understand what the bottom of the top string is on the good on the on the good star <laughs> on the guitar, then. Uh, we all good. So we're going to start with the fattest string. So I like to talk like that. Start with the fattest string up top. So it's going to be D, G, D, G, B, D. Once again, it's D, G, D, G, B, D. So you should get a sound like this. Give or take. Once again, it's D, G, D, G, D, D, D. You got it? I'm going to hold on for a second. Okay, so um, I became interested in Open G. Just kind of really... Uh, well, I grew up around my granddad and R.L. Burnside, but to be honest with you, at the age that I was, I wasn't really honing in on the talent um, of a guitar. I was playing drums around that time, but I wasn't really playing guitar. So, Open G is pretty fun to play in, to me, in my um, personal opinion, because you can bar a whole chord. So when I, when I mean when I say bar, it's just take your finger, whichever finger is your strongest finger. You might want to use the middle, but I like to use the index. And so, one, four, five. So that's three, five, hand, seven, okay? Uh, even from that, So R.L. plays open G quite a bit. Uh, he does. Um. So all of that goes in. Um, all of that is played in Open G. So, just to get you guys started um, on Open G, so I'm gonna show you a couple of tricks uh, for like hill country. Uh, of course, there's the so it's a lot going on here, but it's not really a whole bunch. So we got the strong pattern. Um, so I like to think of like a horse trot. You know what I mean? I know it's crazy a little bit. Um, so try to get. So it's I'm I'm overemphasizing on. It's the morning time, and I haven't done one of these in a while, so I'm off my game a little bit. So anyway, I overemphasize on one of the strums out of. It's like a simple basic. But on one of them, I strum extra, like that emphasizes the rhythm that I want to use. Up here up top, I'm basically just muting the strings so they're not ringing out. All right, so it's simple, but it's complex all at the same time. So it's... Um, So what I'm doing here, 
So the top two strings, you can't even really see them. Okay, there we go. So the B and the D string, oh, I look funny this close. Y'all don't be judging me out here now. So the B and the D string, I'm going to take in conjunction with one another. So together they'll sound like. Right? But you want to go, you want to hit the B string going up and hit the D string coming back. slow. So here's my strumming finger here. So I actually slide into the third fret with the B string and then I hit the D string. See what I'm doing here? So actually, that's one of the most complex moves to me in Open G when um, Mr. Burnside does that. Ah. So it's really, I mean, I know it looks and sounds easy, but it's kind of like, the more, the more I would think about something, if I'm doing this on guitar, I tell all my buddies this, or people that I'm teaching, the more you think about it, the harder it becomes. You kind of got to relax into a zero state of mind, too. I mean, I could show you the basics all day long, but you really still have to get in that mindset. Okay? But, ah, my bad. So we're just going to stick to the... So, so far, we got... That's what we're gonna work on so far. Uh, man, it's been seven minutes already. So we're going to start here. I guess I'm gonna do another Open G lesson because I know this is not really, uh, it's not even really much at all, but this is to get you started with Open G. B, D, hold on, my bad. D, G, D, G, B, D. D, G, D, G, B, D, okay? And then we got the... People um, who are very guitar literate, I guess they'll tell you to slide into the third from the first fret with the B and the D string, leading with the B. Screen all at the same time, but you guys get the idea. Till next video, yeah.